Hello everybody and welcome to race number four for the 1949 NASCAR Strictly Stock Series. This is the first qualifier race out of four qualifier races to make the main event here at Fireman's Park. And in the first qualifier, we have 16 cars, top five make the race. So you have a lot of work to do. You got to get a top five. Green flag is out for Wells. I don't know what the heck all these other guys are going so slow for. Zetris is second. Tingley actually has a shot at making it. He usually has been struggling lately. UMP 40s up here. Soils. And we got Walker. Sloan. A little bit of contact. Sloan's not in position to make it. After coming off of a race at Daytona Beach where he gotten taken out, he might not make this next one. He's got a lot of work to do. It's only a few laps. A lot of contact up here. Lots of contact. But they keep it going. So far, Wells still way ahead. Everybody's really just spread out. Camry Jr. trying to make a move on the outside here. What else we got? Sterling, we got a rookie snuts. Stanward Jr. Thompson. Smith way back there. And oh Nicola Sykes has an issue. That's gonna that's gonna end it probably for him. Dang, we're already on lap three. You can see some contact in the back. Wells has a huge lead. Holy cow. Zetris has struggled to make races too. Here comes Soils. UMP40 is the last car in the transfer position right now here in fifth. But it looks like we got a battle for third going on right here. Soils trying to take third place away from Tingley. And he's going to slide up, give him a little tap there, a little, little bump. Two laps to go. If these guys wreck, they're going to miss the race, so they better be careful. Oh, dang. UMP40 is trying to cut right through the middle. He can stay right there in fifth. Top five, make it. Wells has a huge lead. Oops. Soil's still trying to get on Tingley. Oh! No way! He just wrecked him, but everybody else is going around the outside. Sloan is now the last transfer spot, but he's getting passed by Cam Wright Jr. White flag is out. Cam Wright Jr. is now in the last transfer spot, but here comes Sterling. Sloan back in fifth. Last transfer spot for Sloan. Wells is going to win it, followed by Zetra's Soils. Walker and Sloan ends up making it, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. They barely finished now. Whoops. Sloan does end up making it. Somebody got wrecked right at the end. That's decent nuts. Well, top five make it. Sloan, Walker, Soil, Zetris, and Wells. Sorry for the rest of you guys. Here we are for race number two. Qualifying race number two. It looks like Legends on the pole. Martinez Oil or Richard Oil Spill. Your mom, a new rookie. We got Radonovic, another new rookie. Green flag is out for Legend. And top four make it to the finals. So you got to finish top four. Brian Martinez looks like he's in position. And this is one, if you do make it to the final race, you have a big shot at winning. Look at Pringles, man. He qualified way in the back. He's already passed some cars. Ooh, contact, though. Super Mario Dinosaurs is in fifth. He's the last transfer spot. Right there. Pringles, man, trying to make a pass. There's a car pitting. That's going to end his chances. Battle for the lead. Brian Martinez takes the lead. We already got lap traffic. Oh, no. Arthur Richard. Looks like he has an issue and he'll be pitting. That means he'll miss the main event. Dang, he's had a lot of bad luck this season. He's gotten wrecked and flipped and everything. And now it looks like he ain't even going to make this race. Three laps to go for Martinez. Oil spill running third. Fourth is still Radonovic. 
Super Mario Dinosaurs, is he catching up? No, he's not. Well, maybe he is. 8.82. Trying to see what his next lap gets. Two seconds behind the car in front. I think he might be catching him, but really does not have much time left. New battle for the lead with two laps to go. Legends trying to take back the lead from Brian Martinez in the 12. Legends not able to do it. There is Martinez, and they're coming to the white flag this time by. Oh, man. Martinez still holding the lead. White flag is out for Brian Martinez. Somebody got spun. I can hear somebody wrecking somewhere. Oh, no. Just kidding. That's a car exiting the pits. One more turn to go. As long as they make it. Oh, lap car. Lap car might get in the way. Coming out of the turn. Brian Martinez is going to win the qualifier. Followed by Legend. Followed by Oil Spill. Followed by Ray Donovich. And Super Mario Dinosaurs will be the first one out. NASCAR fan did not make it. Pringle Man did not make it. Your mom didn't make it. I'm sorry, guys. You guys got to go tell your mom right now she didn't make it. Tim Pitch did not make it. Roberts and all these guys. So we'll go to the next one. Here we are for qualifying race number three. It looks like Hadok is in the pole position. Green flag is out for Hodok. Kirk, Edwards, and Cost are the top four. The top four make it. Harms is just out. I believe this is his first race a week is right there. And Larry Jones is not in position after getting flipped last race. Ooh, Cost has lost his fourth place position to Harms. We got a battle for second place here with Kirk and Edwards. Oh, contact between Edwards and Kirk. It's going to slow him down. Oh, Larry gets slammed in the wall. Larry Jones. And I think all of these guys lost their chance. Except for Greenwell flies through. If there's another wreck in front, Greenwell might make it. Connor Jacklin also struggling. But he made it through that wreck. One of these guys have to crash for those guys to have a chance. This is the transfer spot. 20th has the last spot right now. Cost really trying to take that position away as Hadak keeps leading it. Oh, I don't know. Is Harms going to get harmed? That is the question. Three laps to go. Greenwell, Jacklin. These guys trying to catch up. They got a long ways to go to catch up, though. And to Mustard. But catch up is more important right now. Arms still leading in front of the 24. I believe that's Matt Cost, by the way. Mark. Mark Cost. My bad. Mark Cost. He's trying the outside. It ain't going to happen. In fact, he lost a lot of speed. Kirk trying to pass on the outside of the 0 0 of Edwards for second. This is really going to change up the championship, isn't it? The next one's going to have 24 in Sonic for life, though. That's going to be crazy. Two championship contenders. Kirk takes second place. White flag's out for the leader. Oh, no. It looks like the 25 is going to come on the track right in front of these guys. Harm's still fourth. Cost trying to take fourth away right at the end. But his teammate might block him. Oh, man. And it looks like he's just barely going to miss out on it. Hodak ends up winning the qualifier. Followed by Kirk Edwards. And Harms gets your last transfer spot. Oh my goodness. There's your final. Larry Jones got messed up again. This will be the first race he misses. And like I said, you miss the race. You probably lose the championship. So that sucks for those guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Here we are for the last qualifier. Devil is in the lead. Sonic for life. Bailey Taylor and Wolfie Biggs are your top four. Top four make it. 
We're about to go green flag racing for devil. Oh my goodness. You know who's not up here? L24 has a lot of work to do in five laps. That's going to be hard. Devil leads them off. Real quick, here's your qualifiers. This might be the first race that the points leader doesn't make. And if he doesn't make the race, Sonic for Life will take the points lead. Because he's in position to make the race right now. So hopefully 24 can work his way up there. Battle for the lead. Sonic gets in the back of Devil. He's trying to make it. Bailey Taylor in the 14 right behind him trying to uh, just stay right there for now. And it looks like they're going to calm down. Carlson is fourth place. Wolfie Biggs just out. Oh, no! No! They hit the wall, but they get going again. But it's too late. Durrani is now in fourth place. He's got the last transfer spot. These guys still aren't up to speed. More contact. Oh, man. Sonic for Life is now not going to make it. And he's mad. He takes out Devil again and just completely wrecks him in front of the field. The two points leaders, L24 and Sonic for Life, are both probably going to miss this race now. This is another trap for a spot. Durrani gets taken out by Wolfie Biggs. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And that allows Kyle Butch to take fourth. And now Cropley is now in a transfer spot. He's now fourth. Are you kidding me? If he can stay in front of the 38, this is a battle to see who makes the race. Cropley is now in at the 38 of Biggs. Having that heavy front end damage after hitting that guardrail. Is now in fifth outside the transfers. Bailey Tyler is your leader with Carlson. Little bit of contact back here, slowing each other down. They have two laps to go. Cropley, you need to be careful here because here comes Wolfie Biggs. Dylan R. Jr. ready to capitalize if these guys wreck each other. Cropley just holding on. I don't know where he came from, but it came from the right place, apparently. Holy cow. Kyle Butch in the 54 trying to hold on to third place. White flag is out for the leaders. Don't look like anything's going to happen back here either as they're starting to spread out. Holy cow, that was crazy. Sonic for Life ends up not making the race. Oh, wow. <gasps> Did they just wreck? They just wrecked at the end! No way. No way, Wolfie Biggs just passed Bailey Taylor who must have gotten spun out from the lead. Are you kidding me right now? Wolfie Biggs is going to be your last transfer spot. Carlson wins it. We got to take a look at the replay. Carlson takes out Wolfie Biggs for the lead. Oh my gosh, this is the last lap. And, or sorry, not Wolfie Biggs, Bailey Taylor... And that forces Bailey Taylor to not make the race as he does not get going fast enough. 24 actually almost came back. Wow. This is your official results, guys. Carlson, Butch, Cropley, and Biggs make your main event. I'm not even sure how many point standings guys are actually going to be in it after this one. Hello everybody and welcome to the main event. Hadok in the 7 car is your leader with Legend Martinez Wells. Oil spill Kirk Soils. Soils is one that's up there in points and I think Sloan is too possibly. But we lost a lot of championship contenders as these guys are taking a while to get going. But we only have 17 cars. What are you doing Martinez? Don't cheat. Don't cheat Martinez. You'll get black flagged if you pass him. Uh, slow down there, dude. What is going on here? Holy cow, we got 20 laps going on here. Oh, it's because Hodak has an issue? Green flag is out. I think Hodak has an issue, and that might mess him up for the rest of the race. That sucks if he does. I don't know if he does or not. He's too slow. Yes, he does have an issue. There goes Brian Martinez around the outside. Can Martinez get his first win in the Strictly Stock NASCAR series or can Legend go around him? These two were battling in their qualifier. Oil spills ready to cause another crash right back there in third. Oh, Martinez slides up high. 
Here comes Legend. Legend will lead lap one. Oil spill trying to take second away. Martinez got loose up there. Wolfie, or sorry, not Wolfie Biggs. This is Soils in fourth. Holy cow. This is where it's going to get crazy. You can see that it's a lot closer racing when all the top 17 cars that made the race are all in it. That means even if you get last like Hadok probably is, you're still going to get 17th place points. That's not bad at all. Oil spills slow coming out of the corner. Whoa, Wells gets in the back of Soils pretty hard there. Your points leader, 24, did not make the race. And Sonic for Life, who is second in points, did not make the race. I think next is Solis, if I'm not mistaken. And he's third place in this race, just passing uh, a lap car of a dock there. Who's off the pace. Legend looks like he's going to possibly win this race. He's running off with it right now. Oh! Hadok gets taken out by the 0 0. Remember, Hadok's a lap down. Zetris goes around the outside. Sloan goes around the middle and gets tapped from behind there. Oh! Kirk gets taken out by the 58 of Radonovic. Oh my goodness. Here comes Carlson. Carlson might have gotten spun earlier because he's pretty far back. Your leader is still legend here. Soil Solis is still in third. Here comes Wells. Holy cow. This is crazy because these are all people that aren't normally up here except for I think Solis usually is. Sloan is seventh place. Harms. And Walker rounds out your top 10 right now. We still got a lot of race to go, though. Holy cow. Edwards trying to get back in the top 10. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, contact there. Carlson gets in the back of Wolfie Biggs. But it works out. He's trying the outside now to pass him. There's another outside pass. What's going on with the leaders? They're all spread out now. When we got a little bit, and then we'll catch lap traffic. It looks like Sloan trying to stay in front of Kyle Butch, but Butch is trying the outside. I don't know if he'll make it. Oh, a little bit of contact. Puts him in the wall! Sloan puts him in the wall, but it messes up Sloan. He loses control and loses tons of positions. Harm's going to try to get by Kyle Butch now. Sloan is still not up to speed. Oh my goodness. It's taken him a while. He might have an issue. I think he might have an issue. I don't know if he's just getting up to speed or if he's going to pit. Wolfie Biggs trying to make a move on the 58 here going into turn three, I believe. And it looks like he'll be able to do it three wide. That's dangerous. I mean, two wide's been dangerous enough. You guys are maniacs. Oh, man. Biggs gets pushed back by Cropley there. Edwards trying to get by Harms. Oh! We got a flip. Soils, that's lap eight. I got to make sure I come back to this. Soils was running fourth. Wells is not up to speed yet. Sorry, Solis. I keep calling him Soils for some reason. That's going to mess up his hopes. I don't even know who's next in the championship. Because all the top three are definitely not going to be in the top three anymore, I don't think. Sloan's missed a race. So I'm not sure. Carlson might be up there in points. He's 10th right now in this race. We just have a car that just got knocked off the track. Cropley just got knocked off the track. What is going on here? He's now a lap down. Your leader's still legend. Martinez might be up there in points. Cropley's trying to get going again. Zetris just going to fly right by him. This is for, I believe, sixth place. Edwards trying to get by Kyle Butch. Is he going to put him in the wall like Sloan did earlier? No, he's not. Butch is going to fight back there. Dang, this is crazy. We got cars all over the place. That's where the battle's happening is right here, though. 
Kyle Butch gets passed by Edwards. Now Harms right behind him. Carlson still there. Sloan going a lap down from Legend. Now a lap down. Next to go a lap down will be Kirk. Martinez got to get by the 38 of Biggs to try to catch the leader here. But I think he'll be happy with a second place finish if, if this continues to be the way it is. But you never know. Somebody might end up wrecking somebody. And I mean, that's been going on all race. Do we have anybody out? The 45 cars out of the race. Yeah, he flipped bad. That was soulless. Oil spill still back there in third. He's got a long ways to catch up to the leaders, though. It's definitely Martinez versus Legend, but Legend's having a hard time outlapping Kirk. Martinez finally gets by Biggs, but he's still got Sloan in the way. Oh, man. Legend's having a hard time outlapping Kirk here. Who's your fastest car of the race? Legend is, of course. So he should ought to win. This is going to be good for him. I don't think he joined the season till um, mid-season. So what that means is if that is the case, he definitely doesn't have a chance for the championship. But I think your champion might be a car that only made four races because there's so many that didn't make this race. Six laps to go. Martinez gets by Sloan. He's cut the lead with less than two seconds, but now Legend's trying to make the move on Kirk. You got more lap traffic ahead of him. He now puts the 55 a lap down, but gets contact out of the corner there. Martinez has got a long ways to go to catch back up. And he lost time on that. Any battles going on for any positions? Oh, uh, yes, 7th and 8th right here. Kyle Butch and Harms. Oh! Harms gets into Kyle Butch, but they save it. Walker's now trying to catch up. Look at the push that the 7 gave to Kyle Butch. That's Hodak. That guy qualified first, but he had an issue right from the start. I don't know what happened to Cropley. Oh, yeah, he got knocked off the track. <gasps> no way! The leader legend, did he get spun? We gotta take a look at the right, no. Brian Martinez is now your leader, but I don't know what happened. We're gonna take a look at the replay. This is what happens when you get trapped by two lap cars. Legend gets spun out. Martinez goes around the outside. Oh, Sloan gets wrecked in front of the leaders. Dang it, there's so much going on here. Brian Martinez is still your leader with three laps to go. Legend gets involved another one. That is allowed oil spill to catch up a little bit, but still not enough. Sloan off the pace. I don't know what caused that, but we're too close to the end of the race to check. Martinez just has to survive. For two more laps, he's got clean air, so it should be easy to do so. But, oh my goodness. Oh, no way! He pit! Legend pits! That puts Oil Spill in second. Zetris now takes third. Wells is now going to move into fourth. And fifth is now going to be Edwards because of that. With two laps to go, Martinez is still your leader. In the 12 car, we got a battle up here. That's for 15th. Which is last place of the cars left on the track. So far, Cropley's going to try to stay ahead of Hodak. Carlson making some moves. This is for position. Martinez has the white flag. Somehow, he has been in the right place at the right time today. Brian Martinez is going to win the Fireman Park 20. Second place. Is all the way back here going to go to Earl Spill? Zetris gets third. Sloan takes out Wells. And that's going to allow Edwards to take fourth right at the end. Wells gets fifth. Sixth is Kyle Butch. Seventh is Harms. Walker eighth. 
ninth goes to Carlson. And tenth, I'm not sure. I think it was Radonovic. Yes, he was the first car lap down. That was a crazy race for only 17 cars. That was crazy. Brian Martinez wins by almost 10 seconds. Let's go take a look at the results. Blah, blah, blah. Here's your official results. Brian Martinez wins the race leading the last five. Legend leads the first 15. Gets wrecked by lap cars. Then gets wrecked by lap cars. Again has too much damage in pits. Loses the race after leading the most. That also is actually a tie. But because Hadak qualified first. Hadak gets the headache of the day. Your hard charger goes to Kyle Butch though. 15th to 6th. That's not bad. And that's the rest. Let's go take a look at the official standings. This is going to be crazy. And Carlson is now your points leader. He is one that has been fairly consistent. No DNFs, and he's made every race so far. Soil's made every race, but he's DNF twice. 24, still second in points, still mathematically in it. Uh, pretty okay mathematically in it. He's going to have to win or something. But uh, he's almost got a win before. Carlson's probably your championship favorite now that he's got a win and he's the points leader by a long ways. Hodak is somehow up there in points. I don't know how because I didn't think he did much. In fact, he has one top ten. Oil Spill is now up there in points. Martinez now up there in points after winning that race. That's his first top ten too. Sonic for Life falls down to seventh. Wells, UMP40, and Gio Baldi, all these guys missed it except for Wells. Sloan's still not even in the top 10 yet. I thought he was higher up there in points, but I guess not. Uh, Do it didn't make it. Sykes. Anyway, mathematically, about the top 11 or mathematically in it, but really it's going to come down to the top 6 or 7, maybe 8. Maybe 8. I'll say top 8 have a chance, but... Carlson, basically, if he makes the race, he's probably going to do it. Only 21 cars will make the next race because the next race is the Langhorn 20. That does not give you a picture. We're going 20 laps at this mile-long dirt track. It's basically a super speedway on dirt, so yes, there's going to be chaos. We'll see you guys there. Make sure you smash the like button. And subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell. All notifications on. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.